Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have 10 new Dollar Tree DIYs that is perfect for this fall season. I hope you can leave here feeling really inspired. Please leave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and let's go ahead and get on into crafting. Recently at the Dollar Tree, I found these little cloth pencil cases, which I thought were a really cool item, and I love the pattern on it. I felt like it did go with like my fall decor, but they were like a really soft fabric that was going to collapse if I tried to put anything in it. So I paired it with one of Dollar Tree's wooden pencil boxes. This fit perfect in there. It was able to let it take some shape, but I'm going to be putting like a bouquet in here, so I really wanted it to be able to hold the styrofoam to uh, kind of draw this in just a little bit to make it look not so flimsy. I did add a little bit of hot glue into the corners and kind of make some seams and it's just making the fabric a little bit tighter so it'll give it more of a nicer look. This was just an old styrofoam piece that I had already picked out of a different Dollar Tree little floral piece and it had some concrete in the bottom. So I glued that down in place and then I wanted a like large nice looking pumpkin for the center of this. So I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby but I did get it on sale. I put that right in the center. It was a little top heavy so I added in some little blocks underneath. You can see I glued them on both sides of the stem just to give it some support and glued that to the styrofoam and then adding in a ton of greenery and then I'll add in some sunflowers but I love like so many fall bouquets are just like tons of reds and oranges but I kind of wanted to keep it just a little bit more plain and let that orange pumpkin really pop off of this so placing the um, sunflowers around the bottom this was a floral stem that had like the mixed big and small little flower tops so I thought this was really cute I glued a bow on there but I love how this turned out Another really fun project that you can make over for fall is picking up one of these little house shaped coin banks from Dollar Tree. Now they do have like a plastic casing on the back. I was able to pop that off and actually scratch off all the letters with a little razor blade. So I thought that I would use the uh, nail polish remover, but this was so much easier. I was able just to um, kind of scratch it off and even just push it to one side and it came off and everything looks really nice. It didn't leave any residue. And then I wanted to, this to have more of like a farmhouse backing so I am using some of Dollar Tree's like wallpaper to replace that. This is like a really deep shadow box, so I thought it would be fun to fill it up with some fall colors, but also colors that would go on into Halloween. So I ended up using these checkered pumpkins, which are so adorable that Dollar Tree is putting out. It's like this really fun vase filler, but they're big enough to actually craft with. So I just put those in there, popped the back on, but I felt like this little house needed some roof overhang to make it look legit. So using some of my big popsicle sticks, I ended up cutting them down to size, gluing them on for the roof, and then I painted them black. I actually love the Dollar Tree little chalkboard pink that they have and you don't have to just use that on chalkboards but it works as the perfect black color chalk paint. I wish that it, they would actually come out with some more colors um, with this kind of finish on it because it it is like a really nice quality but I went ahead and painted the roof black and just because I was scared of the shiny plastic of the original house piece not matching this like matte finish of the chalkboard I did kind of rub the black paint all over the house and then you can see here I wanted to add like a fun little pop in the front some kind of little decorative piece so I tried a window cling which I thought would work really good but it just wasn't showing up so I ended up moving to one of these little wooden words that I picked up at Dollar Tree I love the hello fall just glued that on and left it this natural color so that it would really pop off of all of the colorful pieces in the background but this turned out really cute a fun little shelf setter and really easy to do 
they have out a ton of like fall dishes like the plates and the mugs but also these fun little glasses this is already decorated so beautiful so I thought it'd be fun to put a candle in here always use your oven mitts but I like to melt my candles on the stovetop just in a pot of water on medium heat for about 10 minutes it really starts to melt you'll see it turns clear when it's fully melted I just poured that into the glass pulled out the original a uh, little candle wick that was in it and then placed it down in this I set mine on top of a paintbrush just to hold it in place until the wax cooled enough and it looked like a real candle I cut my uh, wick pretty long um, just to get it cut down but whenever I do burn this I cut it down even more but this was so easy to do only cost a few bucks and really fun and looks so beautiful lit up but you also could put in a little LED on top if you didn't want to light the real flame Dollar Tree is keeping these little signs in stock constantly at my stores. They're overflowing with them. I don't know if they just have way too many of them or if they just want to stock this all year, but I wanted to give them a makeover because these looked like spring or every day to me. So I pulled the little wreaths off and then I'm going to be replacing them using some of this little berry wreath. Now this came from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree has recently been putting out some of the cute little berry wreaths so you could use that instead, but I just tried to twirl this around in the same size of the original wreath till it got really thick had a lot of berries so it had a lot of color glued that down in place added a little bow and this is just a couple of seconds of a makeover to turn this from just an everyday decor piece into fall and then just to give it that extra little touch of detail I added the stitching with a permanent marker around each of the letters If you are curious on how the loved one turned out, this is what I ended up doing. I did the stitching a little bit different just by adding in the little wavy lines and the dots. And then for the O on this word, I ended up taking some of Dollar Tree's tiny little sunflowers, which are my favorite floral stem, cut off the little backing stick on them, glued them down in place and added a buffalo check bow to the top. And I love that extra like pop of color. If you're looking for an easy way to create some fall wall art and just extra decor that you can actually hang up or larger pieces to set on the shelf, I love picking up the large picture frames and then cutting down just a piece of scrapbooking paper makes the perfect background. So I'm using this black and white buffalo print that I picked up in a pack from Hobby Lobby. So I decided to go ahead and cut that down to size. And then the focal point of this artwork is going to be this big plaid welcome home pumpkin. These were window clings, which is really cool that I get to take something that is already made and it wasn't showing up really well because these are a little bit see-through. So I did glue this on just the back of the white paper and cut it down to size. Recently at Dollar Tree, I found this like spray adhesive Elmer's glue. It's purple and dries clear and it actually worked really, really good. So I thought it would take a few minutes to, to dry like regular Elmer's glue but it did not you only had like a minute to work with it if not less than that maybe 30 seconds before the paper would actually rip when you pulled it up so this was actually some really strong adhesive but I still wanted it to pop even more off of that busy background so I'm cutting down a piece of burlap like the faux burlap scrapbooking paper I cut it to size and then ripped the edges just to give it a fun little look And then once again, adding in my spray adhesive, I glued the pumpkin down and then the large paper down, but I did wait a couple of minutes before putting it in the frame just to make sure anything wasn't gonna adhere to the glass.
Dollar Tree has out these little signs, which I love the wooden frames on the edging with the pretty background. And they have these in a ton of different styles. But, and I like them as is, but if you are wanting to kind of upgrade these so that not all of your signs match and you want to pick up multiple ones, I wanted to show you a fun way to kind of make these over. So all I did was peel up the original little art that was glued down. I glued back down the little pieces that is making this look 3D and then adding in some of Dollar Tree's wooden pumpkin shapes. And I ended up making two different style signs so you could kind of see what color you wanted to go with. I love this moss green color as well as the orange pumpkin color in the Waverly chalk paints. I did fill in the hole with some spackle and then go over these with paint and then I'm going to be adding in some rub on transfers. These are the ones that I'm going with. I feel like they are so beautiful. Dollar Tree is definitely stepping up their game when putting out these transfers. I just picked ones that I thought would look the best on each color and then actually cut out all of the individual leaves and place that around. So it looked really full and busy and there wasn't any empty spaces. And then I just glued these down in place, added a small little jute twine bow to the top just to give it a little finished look and love how these turned out. I feel like candle holders is a big thing that I create in the fall season. I just love everything to look so cozy, but a really fun hack is if you pick up a pair of Dollar Tree socks. I love this Juncture brand. They have so many like higher quality pieces and I actually cut the tops off and I'm going to put them around the candle holders so that these do kind of look like they are wrapped in like sweater material and look really warm and cozy and the, the candle will look really pretty in there. So I put the cuff at the top on the bigger one. And then you can see if you leave it as is, it just curls around the bottom and it wouldn't let the candle holder set up straight. So I was able to kind of fold it back and turn it under so it kind of fit a little bit nicer. And then I actually took a lighter and kind of singed off the excess that was around the bottom because it did have like some threads that were showing up. And then I'm going to be using some fabric that I found at Walmart. This was in like the fabric section, but it was like the already cut fat quarter. So I was able to cut it down and then added in some hot glue. So it had like a nice seam and none of the edges was going to ravel. I have seen so many like higher end stores offering like the candle votives with like the sweater material wrapped around them and they are so pricey so I knew we could achieve the same look using just a pair of socks. It is a little bit tricky to just to get it to line up perfect but like I said I'm not putting in a ton of work. I'm just folding these under. You could even cut these down a little bit more. Just cutting off the little elastic piece at the very top of the sock I put the straight edge towards the bottom because I could cover like the um, ravelly edge with this ribbon and this ribbon actually came from Hobby Lobby but the same kind of pattern so just sharing with you a couple different ways you could do this and then for the smaller candle holder I didn't want it to cover up the entire candle so I liked how it was a little bit shorter on the shorter jar but these turned out really cute a perfect pattern for fall and look really fun with the candles inside. for coming along and crafting with me today. I love putting out videos that is packed full of Dollar Tree inspiration all in one place. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.